So first we do is we make a small incision over the femoral artery and you see that a purse string uh, suture is placed around where we're going to make the insertion into the artery. A small catheter is placed through that purse string followed by um, a larger catheter. That catheter is then advanced into the heart and once the position in the heart is confirmed a, a wire is then placed through and that catheter is withdrawn back. Now we make a bigger incision into the femoral artery and now the device will be guided over the wire into the heart. And so you can see here the, the device is pushed into the artery and then now it's being advanced into the heart. Once it's advanced into the heart, the guy wire is then withdrawn. And now the device is then pushed forward into the heart under fluoroscopy and or transesophageal echo guidance until it's placed into the left ventricle. And at the tip of the device, blood is being actively sucked in by this what we call micro axillary uh, pump. And the blood is then being drawn from the left ventricle and being pumped out from the left ventricle, as this is showing you on a cartoon-like fashion. And it's being then pushed out above the aortic valve into the aorta and being pushed then into the rest of the body. So now the body is getting five liters of um, blood flow to it as it would from a normal working heart. Uh, the idea is that this would in, this increased blood flow increases perfusion to the heart, allow the heart to work better itself, and it also <coughs> reduces the amount of uh, oxygen that the heart needs to use. And the most important thing, or one of the most important aspects is that then it provides additional blood flow to the rest of the body to improve perfusion to organs like your kidneys and your liver.